Mike Huckabee thought he was being cute on the issue of immigration reform, and he attacked Obama for quoting scripture in his speech last night. He said the following, quote, It is interesting that Obama cites scripture as the justification for him taking unilateral action on illegal immigrants. Funny how for the first six years of his administration, even the two years when he had unstoppable majorities in both houses, scripture did not compel immediate action. But two weeks after the final election, he'll have to deal with, suddenly, scripture requires us to do this. I always thought that scripture was eternal and unchanging, but apparently, now that Obama is president, scripture gets rewritten more often than Bill Cosby's Wikipedia entry. <laughs> Mike Huckabee, you're so witty. <laughs> that would be a, a good point if it wasn't such a bad point. After the Democrats prevented a depression and passed historic health care reform, they lost their supermajority. So they were a little busy the first two years when they had their supermajority. Now, I do think they should have been tougher in many respects. But you do have to prioritize when you get in there as to what you can handle and what you can at the moment. Now, they did eventually get to immigration reform, and they tried to get it through multiple times. But guess who blocked it? The Republicans. It's not like they didn't try. They did try, and they were blocked by your party. But let's do a little thought experiment while we're at it. Why don't we flip that question back on you, Mike Huckabee? I thought that scripture was eternal. So why have you always opposed immigration? Because the Bible is crystal clear on immigration, and it disagrees with you. You don't believe me? Here, I'll give you multiple passages from the Old and the New Testament. Quote, when a stranger sojourns with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. You shall treat the stranger who sojourns with you as the native among you, and you shall love him as yourself. That doesn't sound like what you're doing, Mike Huckabee. You've always been opposed to immigration reform. Why do you want to treat these people bad when the Bible says you should treat them good? I guess you hate your own holy book. Do you hate Jesus? Why do you hate Jesus, Mike Huckabee? Quote, for I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. Again, that's interesting, because that seems to be the exact opposite of what Mike Huckabee wants to do, yet he calls himself a Christian. So adorable. Uh, how about this one? Quote, you shall not wrong a sojourner or oppress him. Cursed be anyone who perverts the justice due to the sojourner. Quote, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So they're saying, be kind to strangers and immigrants and sojourners because you don't know what they're going through. You have no clue what they went through. So be nice to them, be kind to them because that's the right thing to do. That's the Christian thing to do. That's what Jesus would do. So Mike Huckabee, unsurprisingly, for the 9,716th time in his life, he calls himself a Christian, but he's really not Christ-like. 